Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel, my name is Janice and I'm just about to show you how to do a crochet wig a, um, with, with a crochet net. This is my wig cap and I'm going to do crochet on this. So this is a wig cap and it's designed for crochet. It's a crochet one but I also sometimes before I make them before and I use normal a normal one but I'm gonna use the crochet one today and the hair I'm going to use on my crochet wig is uh, it's cherish and it's Spanish curl it's Spanish curl so I'm gonna use two of these two packs that should be enough to pack if it's not I'll have to go to the shop and get some more and the hair I got in now, remember I show you in my last video how to do this? I did some crochet. This is the crochet I make from my last video. So remember I did the plait and then I curled this by itself and then I did this and I did some plaits and curls and I show you how to lift out the curls in the plaits. They call them goddess braids but I just call my crochet <laughs> crochet braids with curls so um yeah so this is it so um yeah so this is the one where I did and it looking really good anyway I will get on with it stay tuned so the tools you'll be using, needing you'll be needing your canvas head crochet hook um two your two pack of braids and your wig cap so i'm gonna open the wig cap and place it over my doll's head now so i open this and it's stretchy, you can see elasticated, it's elasticated. And I put it over my canvas head like that. And then make sure it's quite firm. And I'm just about to crochet now and make sure it's shaped. You have to put the shape well as well. Let make sure it's even up well. And that is it. So this is it. I'm gonna start now. So you get your crochet hook like that. You got your crochet hook. One minute, I'm just gonna cut the braids. Cut the braids in half. I cut the braids in half and these are the Spanish curls, they are beautiful. So I'm just about to make my wig. So I'm just gonna use one little piece of section in every one I do. So I've got my crochet hook now and I'm gonna place it in, in here. I'm gonna pull the braids through like that. So you're gonna pull the braids through like that. And you're gonna do that. You're gonna go around, go in once, and then pull one out. So I will show you that again. I'm gonna split this because if you think it's too big, just split them in half because they're easy to split. And then you go in with your crochet hook like that, like this. You go in. You get the braids, you pull the braids in, and then I'm just gonna do, loop it in once, and then put one coming the other way and one going the other way. So you wanna do it like that. So this is how I'm doing mine. Okay. Forget to say that the wig hat, the wig cap was $3.99. And the Cherish hair, was $4.99, $4.99, so I got two pack on the wig cap. 
So in all you're talking about 10 and 4, that's 14. 14 pound. You could take off the 3p, but I was wrong it up to 14 pound. In all for the hair and the wig cap. So you just keep going along knotting it. You can do the section as small as you want. You don't have to do the section my size. You can do them how small you want. I'm just doing them this size because I like this size, but you split them, it's about the size. So you go through here and then you break it one, leave one out and put one in, that's it. And then if you think that's ain't tight enough, you can do two loop and then the knot. So you can also do it this way as well. If you think it's not staying on your thing good enough, you can do one and then bring it in. And then instead of doing one in like, bringing one in like that, you do two instead, two of that. And then you pull the one true like that so that will keep it firmer so you can do it that way as well if you like and make sure they're secure just tighten them so they're secure okay You're doing it twice, and then you bring one through like that. So it looks like it's coming from the head. Where you could do one just like that. Just one. So this is it. Sorry, one minute. Let me follow my rocky doll everywhere. I know it's supposed to move, but because I have to fix that bit, it doesn't really do much. So we just put one in. It still stays, but it's really move around easy. So just get the needle underneath here. Underneath the net. Sorry, one minute. Under here, and then you pull it. And you bring it like that. And then you just bring it through two times. And you knot. And you knot. And some people back comb it so you can get that mess with a comb so you get that and it stays, it doesn't come out. Or use uh, as I say, a uh, towel. This as well, when you're doing the crochet, one side is um of the net is smaller. So put the smaller side of the net on the top. So I'm getting there, look at it. It's getting nice and full and curly. You can see it there. Okay. But as you can see, I got the, the net there, it, the hair under the net. And then I loop it onto this, like that. And pull it through the net. And then you knot one. Two, you can go two and then bring one piece through here, I think, and then it stays like that. And it's too hard to put in, in the needle, just um, stretch the net and then you get into it like that. Okay, so here I go again. I place that in here, pull through. 
pull it down, pull it through like that. So you see it's in there and then you pull this twice or you could do it once as I said. And don't worry if it's a bit loose because as I said we will back comb it or use the tongs to to see. This is a whole pack so far. Uh, it's looking good. Now I'm at the top. I wanted to show you different methods I'm doing. So I'm coming in the top here. I get one of the band. I'm pulling the hair through like that. And then I only take one in like that. So I'm doing it another method through. So I'll continue doing it like that. So what you can do when you reach up, uh, when you finish, you can either use some tongs to seal them, but don't leave it on too long because this does get hot quick. You just, um, because this hair is very easy to burn, so singe, should I say. So be careful and just the end. They will look like this when you when you um put the iron on it. It looks something like that. So it's gonna make it looks more natural, and it seals it like in there. So or what you can do is back home it like that. Do like this. If you want more fullness, if you want more fullness, you back comb it. But if you want the root to look smaller, you put your tongs on it. But don't make sure it doesn't sink. And then when you finish, you get some brownstone mousse, and then you put it in the hay. Put it in the hand and then you comb it through like this. You just use your finger and put it through. Put the mousse through like this. And if you think any gaps need filling in, you could always go back and fill them in. But I'm happy with the amount. I don't want any more than this in it. I'm happy with the amount in there. I know I like my hair big, but this is big enough. And then you just, so you just do that. And then you trim the trim the end off. So you use your finger, use your finger to pull it through. So remember, this is Spanish curl. This is um, cherish Spanish curl. So you just do that with your finger. You just pull it, and when you see the fluff come at the ends, you trim the ends. So you do this all the way through the hair, not too rough, just kind of enough to clear it and then you put more moves in and just take the volume you go take all the volume and bring the curls back so you just put the moose in it and if you see it's still looking gappy because when it goes on your head it will be fine because your hair will be whatever color it is and it won't show if it's dark you won't see anything but if you want to put more you can put more if it get less after you finish calming it down with the mousse. Okay. So this is the finished result of my wigs, guys, my crochet wig. Uh, it's looking beautiful. I wanted to use it on my other doll with a face, but the problem is I got plaques in it and I'll have to undo the whole lot. So this is it. This is how it looking. The band, you can still see the band, but if you want, you can put more hair there on the band there coming forward. But I'm not worried about that because I would wear it and cover up or even cut some of the band off. But it's looking beautiful. You can see how lovely it looks. It's really nice. And I'll show you the back. So this is what the back look like. It's beautiful. If you want more, you can put more. If you want less, you can put less. So this is how it's looking. And you can cut it in your own style. And as I say, if you want it longer as well, you could buy um tree pack and make it longer. It's beautiful. This is it. This is all from me now. Don't forget to subscribe, leave thumbs up or comment in the box below. Thank you all. Bye.